good afternoon to everyone in today's class we are going to see about a half wave rectifier so already in my previous video i provided the explanation of half wave rectifier here i just uh, shown uh, some in detail uh, way of writing the answer for half wave rectifier along with the expressions for the half wave rectifier also okay so here uh, there are two questions mostly the first one is the uh, explain about the half wave rectifier operation with a neat diagram and the second one they ask the what are the various exp expressions for the half wave rectifier whether it is an uh, dc or ac voltages and current triple factor or efficiency or whatever may be the they ask you to derive the expressions for your half wave rectifier first of all the operation of the half wave rectifier will be explained within uh, two ways first one is in forward bias condition and the negative bias condition as we know that when you apply an ac voltage waveform when you apply an ac voltage waveform uh, to your transformer the transformer having i mean the secondary of the transformer will be converting the input voltage as per their uh, turns ratio as per their turns ratio so here the applied voltage is a sinusoidal waveform so it is represented as v equals to vm sin omega t so the same sinusoidal waveform will be given to your secondary also so directly here uh, the rectifying uh, rectifying operation will be happens in your uh, secondary waveform secondary of your transformer so i am considering the secondary voltage of the transformer as v equals to vm sin omega t where vm is the peak of your magnitude i mean peak of your uh, waveform and omega is your frequency i mean angular frequency okay so based upon your turns ratio it is happening so here we are having two operations first one is in forward bias condition and second one is the reverse bias condition that means when you apply in positive waveform when you apply a positive uh, peak to your transformer the same thing will be appears across this terminal uh, this terminal so positive of the terminal positive of your transformer for the negative of the transformer it will be converted into 180 degrees phase shift so it will be happiest it in negative so this is positive and this is negative as per your diode uh, working principle so it will be conducts when anode is positive with respect to the cathode so from anode to cathode the current will be flows so at this moment at this moment the diode is in forward bias condition so it is short circuited so the current will be flown to your load resistance similarly if you go for your uh, similarly if you are considering the negative half cycle uh, this will be the negative and this will be the positive uh, anyways uh, the anode should be higher potential compared to your cathode potential but here the anode is lower potential compared to the cathode potential so it is in reverse bias condition at the reverse bias condition your diode is in open circuit so when this, is, this part is open circuit then diode is open circuit no current flows to your load resistance so at this moment that means in a negative half cycle no current is flown to your load resistance overall i mean the output voltage will be zero so when there is no current the output is zero so when i represented this one in uh, waveforms so this is my applied voltage so applied voltage to the transformer so this is positive half cycle and this is negative half cycle during a positive half cycle the diode uh, conducts so whatever the applied voltage is there it appears across your load resistance so it is appearing whereas in coming to the low uh, negative half cycle it is zero it is zero so at this moment the diode is in off condition because it is reverse bias condition the same process will be repeats for further cycles also the same thing i am just written here coming to your derivations the first one is the kindly remember one point whatever the derivations whether it is an ac voltage or ac current or dc voltage or dc current you are going to perform only for this load value load resist i mean load voltage or load current ac and dc both will be done for only for your load value kindly uh, for rectifier this should be a pure dc waveform but due to this uh, ripples we are getting in form of uh, uh, waveform signs or i mean half pulses in form of pulses so we are going to check 
so what will be the dc uh, load current what will be the dc load current in the uh, given output in the given output so when i observe this one uh, voltage and current both are in phase in the resistor so here the load is resistor so whatever the voltage value you are getting the same thing is your current value so here the load resistance uh, the load current value will be im sin omega t when I, uh, whatever the uh, omega t the value is 0 to pi but when pi to 2 pi it value becomes 0 it value becomes 0 so when i want to find out the dc current uh, dc current i should take the whatever the area under this curve whatever the area under this curve so area under this curve to the total area so here from 0 to 2 pi i am going to perform ild omega t that is the waveform and to the area 2 pi so the total area is 2 pi so under this area only between 0 to pi i have the value for the rest of the thing it will be 0 that means pi to 2 pi the value becomes 0 the same thing i uh, substituted here so when i uh, rearrange the terms rearrange the terms integration of sin omega t is nothing but minus cos uh, cos omega t so when i apply the limits of pi to 0 it will be equals to the dc current will be equals to im by pi we know that we know that uh, v equals to i into r as per the ohm's law but here uh, when i considered the resistance of uh, uh, forward resistance of diode and uh, secondary resistance of transformers the current value will be equals to the vm by if uh, if plus rl plus i rs but i am neglecting the forward resistance of diode and secondary resistance of transformer because these values are very much low compared to your load resistance so the im value should be approximately equals to vm by r when i replace this value in my current term i got vdc that means average uh, voltage value average average value of uh, load voltage load voltage will be equals to vm by sorry rl rl cancel it will be equals to pi it will be equals to pi vm by pi vm by pi similarly for uh, finding the rms value we know rms is nothing but root mean square so whatever the expression you are having you should first do the squaring later mean and later take the ro overall root so for the load current we are doing load current expression we already know i v i equals to i m sin omega t i l equals to i m sin omega t so we need to square that one and take the mean mean nothing but average of the word so divided by total area and for overall that we need to take the root okay so when you to take the root of between 0 to pi i have the value that is i m sin omega t but whereas pi to 2 pi this value becomes 0 so i am just neglecting this i am just considering the between the limits of 0 to pi Z between 0 to pi so when i apply this one so whatever the sin square omega t term is there i can replace in terms of cos 2t in terms of cos 2t so when i replace these two t, uh, values i got this one so one, I just take this 2 value here so 1 minus cos 2 omega t so when I apply the integration 1 becomes the x and omega t and uh, cos 2 omega t becomes the sin 2 omega t divided by internal we have the 2 omega t so it is divided with 2 so here uh, sin 2 pi or sin 0 value becomes 0 so I am neglecting this term so omega t uh, we need to apply the limits so pi 0 pi minus 0 when i simplify this one the rms value of current rms value of load current will be equals to i m by 2 similarly when i go for the rms value of load voltage it will be v m by 2 to find out your ripple factor uh, kindly remember to find out your ripple factor in the load waveform whatever the load voltage or current waveform whatever the, your ac component to your dc component 
kindly observe the same waveform in the same waveform in the same waveform we are need to observe the ac component as well as the dc component don't fix this this is the ac value there is no dc value this is the dc the peak value is your dc the varying quantity is your ac so for that this value will be given as that is the ripple factor is defined as the rms value of ac component ac component of output to the average value of your output uh, average value of the output so when i solve this expression to find out uh, ac component i just subtract the rms value to the dc so when i subtract this the final expression for the triple factor will be rms by uh, id i mean irms by idc whole square minus 1 whole root so already we know the rms value of current and uh, idc value of current so i just substitute and find out the expression for the ripple factor is 1.21 that means the amount of ac the amount of ac present in the output is 121 percentage of the dc voltage 121 percentage of dc voltage so how much of ac is there it is above your dc value that means 121 percent of your dc value so for that case uh, for that reason this half wave rectifier is not used in your applications mostly and the next is peak inverse voltage so simply remember one thing uh, in the reverse bias condition in the reverse bias condition whatever the voltage appears across your uh, diode whatever the voltage appears across your your diode without destroying it we call this one as an peak inverse voltage so kindly just one point here uh, here this is the voltage this is the reverse bias condition that means this terminal i mean this terminal is up to here and this terminal is nothing but your this point so across this the voltage is v v is nothing but vm sin omega t okay so here across this diode we are appearing across two i mean vm omega vm okay so the peak inverse voltage the peak inverse voltage of the diode is nothing but vm without destroying if it destroys it whether just simply it is in short circuit simply it is in short circuit and the next one is your transformer utilization factor so transformer utilization factor is nothing but the ratio of your dc power delivered to the load to your ac power rating of a transformer kindly observe this is little bit different to your efficiency it is not pdc divided by pac this is the delivered i mean dc power delivered to the load and rating of the transformer okay rating of the transformer this is pac rated so here most of the people do the mistake so kindly answer so here pdc we are giving in terms of power will be given as vi or y square r or v square by r so here pdc i am just given it as i uh, idc whole square divided r idc whole square into rl and coming to your uh, whole uh, average power we have the two currents because the current winding uh, carrying the current of half of this value okay so vrms divided uh, vrms into irms so we know the idc value and uh, vrms and irms kindly observe this is uh, irms is the rated value that is half of the value not im by root 2 so kindly uh, take this uh, point this is the half of the current carrying by the transformer windings so when i calculate this one the transformer utilization factor will be 0 0.287 and whereas coming to your efficiency it is dc output power divided by ac input power so it is v uh, vdc whole square uh, divided by rl as well as vrms uh, whole square divided by rl when i substitute this it is 40.6 percent so that is the maximum efficiency of your half wave rectifier is 40.6 percent so this is the way how you are going to represent your uh, question or uh, answer to your half wave rectifier i hope this is useful thank you